Parental discretion is advised. ShopWWEShop.com. Now you can get $10 off any order of $70 or more. Click on the link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support the mayhem. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the wrestling. <laughs> Fuck is wrestling mayhem show two ninety five. It's oh, a uh, crazy night. We got people in the studio. We got people online. I'm Sorgatron. It's the wrestling hard on show. <laughs> hard on show. That's uh, that's about right. Uh, with us uh, in a, in a new location oh. right beside me is I don't know if this is work. There he is, Chachi. Oh. Um, Chachi says dot net. How you doing? I'm well. Move on. We got a lot to do. Yes, we got a lot, <laughs> got a lot to do. Oh, uh, DJ Lunchbox, you're here as well, and you have a hat. <laughs> Look at the hat. Look at the hat. Look at the erection. Look at the hat. He's got a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hat. Nice. Look at the Russell Man, you're still in Texas, but you decorated. I decorated a little bit. It's, uh, All right, I, that's I, enough. I, Move on. We got a lot to do. We also have AJ's back with us. You are feasting your eyes upon greatness. This is Bone Diggity, and I'm in the house to talk wrestling with you. Let's go! <laughs> uh, it's like an entirely different guy. <laughs> He's on the couch. We have <laughs> David Fairhead. And How are you doing? <laughs> we also have John Towers have joined us once again <laughs> with their Sorry. their fantastic uh, uh, the zom- the, 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 We're going to get an update on the on the zombie uh, comic book. That we talked about months ago. Thanks. World Zombie Wrestling Association. World Zombie Wrestling Association. Thanks for having us back, too. No problem. No problem. So if you guys uh, uh, follow along with us, we're going to talk a little bit of wrestling, and we'll get to you guys. And show off the work. Cool. I'm cool. very excited about this. I, I, I'm liking what I've seen. It was fun. I, I haven't had time to read it. Right. But well, I got I, it to you late. So, so yeah, yeah but but I, I, I've, I've looked at the pictures, as I do. Uh, and it's, and, and it, it Ooh, they're pretty. Yeah, they are. They are. Um, so let's get right into it. Hey, this is Wrestling Mayhem Show. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're here every Tuesday, 8.30 or so p.m. Eastern at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Bo diggity. Um, follow us at Mayhem Show. We also on Facebook. We also on Facebook. And we have a new Google Plus page. <laughs> so if you're playing with that, we also on we Facebook. We also. So go go to the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, Google Plus. It's one of those business pages, however they're doing it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it apart from the old one. Uh, but there's a link there. So do that. Uh, you can also uh, contact us, as many do, at Good times. times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS09670 for you with your rotary dial. Uh, and you can also, we got stickers. Uh, I, on this couch over there, can you hold up those stickers? They're right, right, hold right, them right up. here. Tonight right here. is stickers. Like, there should be a stack of stickers, stickers right up there. Oh, uh, there's stickers. There you yes. go. There you go. You got some stickers. Uh, the, these, we like to give them out. Wrestling Mayhem Show stickers. Send a self-addressed stamped envelope to uh, care of... Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 that's not right. <laughs> care of Sorgatron Media, 1535, Velasco Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15216. Send and a sticker to check out the app. We have an app. Go look up Press no, the we we know what? We've always had an app. I don't use this. And there's, and there's fun don't stuff on there. Buy my friend's source of chips. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm hungry. What's up? And Listen, yeah. stop, stop, oh, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, 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 stop. I, I, I just have to point this. No, go back to the other shot. <laughs> I just have to point this out. Anytime he looks at the camera, he's looking directly at me. So I can have a conversation if he... Yeah, see? And not have to look through the giant TV. Mm. It's a it's a giant circle. Hi, Chachi. I love Hello. the technology. <laughs> See, it Everybody's works. a new. I know it's like new angles of the uh, of the studio today. Uh, where we're playing it with some cameras in here since we have a new configuration. I looked up um, from my but... phone and I saw it and I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I had to show. Hey, hey, we got we got uh, emails. Let's get right emails. into emails. Chachi, why don't you do the first one? Find since it. you are the and let's go to the second one. No, I got it. It's right here. <laughs> it's, it's right here. I just wasn't. What the hell is this? What? It's, wow. a, it's an email. All right. Anyhow, it's it's an electronic mail. It's time time for the Riz mail. WMS. Oh, I forgot to turn you down. Yeah, <laughs> coming at you live from an undisclosed polling location with a mobile edition of the Riz mail and another edition of Would You Rather Political Edition. Don't worry, 
There will be no debates on who is right in a political sense or if the president is a Nazi, commie, racist, fascist, or whatnot. That almost happened on Awesome Cast. Yes. This is a fun yeah. game. Let's have some fun. If there was an all-wrestling presidential election for the president of these United States of America, and these were the candidates, John Laronitis, Vicky, Teddy Long, Vince, Shane, Iron Sheik, try to tell him he's not American, I dare ya, Jack Swagger, Hulk Hogan, Jim Cornette, JR, Jerry Lawler, Dixie Carter, Eric Bischoff, or Mantar. It's a hell of a list. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't remember the beginning of it. <laughs> I don't remember my choice. Who would you rather have as your next president of the United States? Wrestling edition. Uh, Until next time, go vote, assholes. Besides wrestle fan, or besides wrestle fan who can't vote because he's an infant, Riz. Sork? Oh, I figured you'd give yours first. Oh, um, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Shane. Okay, now why? Entrance music. Entrance music alone. <laughs> <laughs> Russell fan? Uh, I gotta go with the Iron Sheik. He... Iron Sheik? Iron Sheik. <laughs> I'd, I'd say I, ironic I, Sheik. Is that extra yeah, version? Number one. I think, I think the, the I, you know, I'll, I'll slide in and say I think the Iron Sheik too because the, the acceptance speech in. alone. Slide it in there. Yeah, the acceptance speech alone would be tremendous and, and, and beat worthy. Uh, LB. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, good old JR. Uh, sure, he's got the palsy, but um, he seems like a, a, a guy who would have my interests at heart. Okay, okay. AJ? Also, I'd like to point out, uh, oh. I did call it the, pa- the palsy. The palsy. <laughs> the palsy. AJ? Wow. This is very simple. It's Vincent Kennedy McMahon, hands down. He's got experience running a very large company. He also has better entrance music than Shane McMahon. No bullshit. Because anytime, hey, you're telling me that no chance in hell plays and everybody doesn't stand up and go, oh, crap, where's he coming from? Am I going to get hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me that no, ever, I would watch every single Vincent Kennedy McMahon speech because he would stand up there and he would grab the mic. He wouldn't just kind of stand there and look at the reporter and go, oh, that seems crazy. No, 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 no. Somebody, like a press secretary, would end up joining the Kiss My Ass club it would be amazing <laughs> shane would just kind of dance around and do this little rope and dope thing and it wouldn't it'd be funny for like a minute and then, and then it'd be done but vince vince wins hands down no one's uh, on this oh. entire list no linda mcmahon well that's because linda mcmahon is running for actual office yeah <laughs> yeah yeah she's ineligible uh on the couch uh, <laughs> she's a real politician iron chic Aren't you? Yeah, he's all over uh, XM Radio lately doing guest DJ spots. He's hilarious. Really? Yeah, he's terrible. He's hilarious. So I have to go with that. <laughs> so the, we'll go with the Iron Sheik. You. He's terrible. It's John? awesome. Uh, I'll go with um, – I'm actually going to go with AJ. I think uh, Vincent McMahon would be uh, the best. He's got that uh, mental acumen. <laughs> Like you tell me that you wouldn't want to watch him walk off of like Air Force. That's what one. I was about to say. <laughs> like I get to see him de boarding one. one. That's <laughs> you're, you're, you're selling me on. I mean, I'm just imagining the uh, the uh, State of the Union address, walking into Congress, no chance in hell, playing down the alley. You know, I mean, that's just that'd be tremendous. Yeah, it, I would love to see him like racing Putin. <laughs> like, you know good and well that if, Vince had, if Vince were up there and he were giving the State of the Union address the Russian national anthem would start and Vladimir Putin would show up at the back of the state capitol building <laughs> <laughs> he would rush oh, in and everybody in Congress he'd do a run in everybody yeah. completely would have the same reaction yeah. business is about the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> JR is the Speaker of the House, clearly. I, <laughs> I think JR would be a good so VP. Bad. I think yeah. he'd be a good Vice President. Yeah. Hey, can you check the chat room? What's that? Because I just got a message on the iPad that says justin.tv. Oh, no, that's the wrong error message. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Everybody else is rocking in there. Um, <laughs> anybody, anybody from the chat room? Vince strutting off uh, Air Force One would be great, man. Mike. Oh, there it is. Uh, Linda Nord, Jesse Ventura, because they're actual politicians. <laughs> Doing politicking. Uh, uh, Riz wanted to add CM Punk to the list, and I uh, I didn't even speak up because that list ended with one name and one name only. That's Vincent Kennedy. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, well, look at it this was... way. 
It, I mean, as soon as Vince takes over, Shane's just going to buy Puerto Rico out from under him. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe American Samoa, because that's yeah. where all the good wrestlers are from right. anyways, right? Really? So, really? Puerto Rico's on WCW? <laughs> <laughs> I'm insulted. Wow. <laughs> That's no, 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 no. Um, uh, That's the title of the show. Florida is WCW. Puerto Rico that is the WCW. WCW. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, AJ, what was that? Uh, Florida is our WCW. That's where all the old, uh, all the, uh, old washed up people end up. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Am I wrong? That's what so I'm like, so what is it? We got two for Shiki and uh, two for Vince. I think so. I think so. I think so. Yep. I'm sticking with uh, Shane. Someone's got to break the tie. I'm sticking with Shane. You guys are on your own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think uh, Vince McMahon is is getting everybody's hearts and minds in the chat room though. Uh, they want t- two minute. Oh, I say two minute warning in 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 Congress. I think I saw three minute warning. Uh, three three minute warning. But, Even though one of them's dead, but that's okay. Ooh. Well, let's just imagine in our world that uh, nobody dies in wrestling. It would be a nice <laughs> world. Um, Don't break hey, babe, ass! Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, so I, we got another one, an LB. Yes. Well, and, before we move on to that, I want to make mention of Dixie Carter was on that list. And uh, she they recently she tweeted this, and uh, I had to follow the link. She answered some questions for the fans uh, on TNA's website. And I have to say, she is the stupidest, most disillusioned person I've ever met in my lifetime. And I've known, I've known people who straight up have dementia. <laughs> anyway, wow. moving on to the... Dem- dementia here. is not funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. But, uh, oh, you know Dixie what else Carter isn't is. funny? Uh, wait, no, AJ. Huh. AJ, we're splitting this one. Yo, tag team wrestling emails. We're bringing the, we're we you and I are the uh, email tag team champions. That's exactly we have right. The giant That's penny exactly right. And are you are you start? <laughs> no, I'll start and I'll tag off. Okay, okay. Who's yeah. gonna get suspended? No Lunch, subject. Lunchboxes. Uh, me, clearly. Wait, who gets I'm the, I'm the average white guy. Uh, right here? No, yeah. right here. This is lunchbox gets suspended. <laughs> Syn- <laughs> synthetic marijuana. Synthetic marijuana and uh, Tostitos queso. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad combo. <laughs> Salutations, mayhemers. I'm enduring my first week of post Muppet depression, trying to fill the hole in my childhood with some episodic wrestling. I'm still grading TNA on a curve, and so it wasn't too bad. I'm giving a B for effort, but I feel sorry for Eric Young. He's carrying a dead belt and, well, basically two dead belts. Yep. And is stuck trying to make chicken salad from chicken shit. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, um, the promotional department pelts him with. Let me get this straight. The real Jersey Shore guy comes on the show to knock pecs with the not-so-real Jersey Shore guy and his pet Sasquatch. <laughs> only, only to be fed to them with the promise of a future score settling. I'm still waiting for the A. Aflac duck. <laughs> AJ. You, all, you almost said that as an acronym. I'm just pointing. You did. I thought it. I was thinking of the AFL CL or whatever. It doesn't matter. AJ. <laughs> AFL CIO. Yeah. I give you the TNA checklist. Too long spent on an opening promo. Check. Jeff Jarrett, Bully Ray, or Karen do something to remind the crowd that they are in fact heels. Check. Push the Jeff Hardy DVD or his redemption. Check. Secret behind the scenes, wait and see what we do next segment promo. Check. Check. And Gunner running in. Check. Okay, that's the basis. Anyways, I've had a theory about the TNA World title for a few months, and the Robert Roode victory has pretty much convinced me. I think the TNA World title is made from Sauron's ring from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> the precious tempts and corrupts all who wear it to a crappy heel storyline for absolutely no reason. Jeff Hardy, Mr. Anderson, Kurt Angle, and now Robert Roode have all turned heel in spite of being over with the fans in an enormously huge way. Only Sting's face him remained unscathed, but he was trapped in a crappy Joker-esque character for months. Roode even looked like Gollum reaching for the beer of ultimate betrayal to smack his best friend with to get to the precious. 
drop the Bischoff Daddy Dearest storyline, form a brotherhood with Hogan. I'm sorry, <clears throat> form a brotherhood with Stor- with Hogan as Gandalf, and chuck the title in a volcano. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse than that vampire zombie thrall angle, kidnapped in a white van, or I'm joining the guy who's banging my ex to get back at my boss who hired us both. Okay, that being said, I'll move on to the WWE in the UK. I like when they cross the water because they go all out to push the product. Tag to Lunchbox. Raw checklist. Cena steps on or has a promo stepped on, usually an opening promo check. Rehash Triple H getting hammered in case you forgot in the two days since SmackDown check. Short segment with only five divas ever shown check cole standing on the announce table check ricardo getting socked in the face oh yes check the cm punk alberto segment was great especially with the one-dimensional destiny remarks it's nice to see john morrison sneak in a win i guess the mid-card curse is stronger than the curse of parkour (laughs) a good show except i'm tired of hearing about michael cole challenge i get it you're gonna push the pay-per-view i get it Michael Cole needs to read the playbook of Bobby the Brain or Jesse the Body to the best heel commentators ever and stop trying to get over as Mikey the Ass. Have a great show, guys. Sonic Screwjob. P.S. Again, I offer condolences to Kofi Kingston's career. His tag team partner, Evan Bourne, (laughs) screws up their push with a wellness policy violation and Kofi gets fed to the Lions until he gets back. You know what? Can Can I just kind of point out how ridiculous that is? Kofi Kingston is going to get fed to the Lions, and his redemption is a 5'8", 170-pound white guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, got, uh, he got buried last night. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, That's no. Like, yes, he did. Kofi got buried last night. Yeah. Like yeah, he Del did. Rio. He got destroyed by uh, – or no, he got he got destroyed by Alberto Del Rio with the uh, arm bar. Right. I got, don't know why I slapped my own arm. <laughs> 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 hey, Kofi, this thing oh, so yes, Kofi I, Kingston's, I barred it. That's what I did. <laughs> Kofi oh. Kingston's uh, action figures even get their ass kicked on the commercials nowadays. <laughs> well, that's because the black guy has to get pinned. <laughs> well, I've seen him. It has like some kind of spring-loaded uh, slingshot that shot him down mm. off this ring contraption. I don't know. You guys didn't see hey, the commercial? Hey, we, we, we saw him at uh, Comic-Con. Those toys are really cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, especially the uh, the, uh, mm. the R-Truth that comes with the water bottle. Mm-hmm. Nice. The Del Rio that comes with the Rey Mysterio mask uh, 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 Chihuahua. Nice. From last year. <laughs> <laughs> Great attention to detail. So uh, I think that covers all of our fan interaction for the week. Maybe. Maybe. I think that might be true. I think there's some tweets. There's a light week, but heavy, heavy emails. Light week, heavy flow. <laughs> and now we're in another yep. kind of commercial. Um, <laughs> so you can ride horses, vagina stuff, and sponges. <laughs> wow. Okay. Going for a ride on the beach. You can do that on no matter when it is. Wrestle fan, uh, it's time for your indie minute, otherwise known as. How did I get uh, uh, questionably interacted with a transvestite this week? We're, and, and we're not going to talk about <laughs> okay, that. Okay, all right. Before we get, right. to, before we get we to the are not, No, no. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the only report for this week. Why? Wow, I got defensive. Jay Wrestle like fan? something might have well, happened. Stop talking over me. Wrestle fan. <laughs> Wrestle fan. <laughs> Wait, stop. You have one minute starting now. Gentlemen, they showed Black Lightning versus Sherrod Holm from the Johnstown Island Massacre show. Black Lightning brought a colorful, cooler full of water to give out so that the kids <laughs> wouldn't get the purple stuff. Black Lightning retained the title. The other match they showed was Marcus Nomad Cage versus Adam Nostikov, who Marcus <laughs> accused of being the father of Bobby Crap and Limbo and Child. Nomad won the match. Anyway, next show is December 3rd. I played at Ice in Johnstown. Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, there was stuff I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> RCW was this week. Cool stuff happened. Ray Woe was there and Hernandez and other stuff. And that was awesome. Go to ChicagoPro.com. They are friends we, of us. We interviewed him last week. I want to know what happened. What? Uh, <laughs> he dumped water on Hernandez and, and crazy shit happened. Time! A minute. River, Time! Uh, RiverCityWrestling.net Yes. Uh, Ch- friends at Chicago Pro Wrestling, there is a very special contest that they are doing where you could win free tickets for a, for your life. All your life. Do you like <laughs> all your life? <laughs> this is really he's right. Hard. No, he's totally right. He's no, that's what they're doing. It seriously is. Hilarious. This is really hard to do. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so, Sorg. Yes. Oh. Do you like Chikara? 
I like Chikara. Do you like tickets? I love tickets. <laughs> that let me see Chikara. Do you like free stuff? Well, then go to uh, <laughs> facebook.com slash Chikara Pro. Uh, click on the Fan for Life uh, section and enter to win free Chikara tickets for life. <laughs> and this that is the Andy Minute for this week. Done. That has been your Holy indie, hell. That has been your indie minute and a half. But oh, he, gets he, he gets credit. He gets credit for that one. Job. I only no. I I said I said time, but I let him keep going because yes, he did. He, I don't know how intelligible it is. I don't know how good of a job we did promoting. It was, anything, it was awesome. But, uh, Phenomenal <laughs> job. <laughs> this is why the indie minute is never a minute. Well, if anybody's listening to this podcast on like their iTunes or on their iPhone or something, I think it's something your other podcast was just listen to that section and just happen at half speed, and you'll get it. <laughs> He's like the micro machine guy. Yeah, he's, yeah. That, <laughs> that was actually said in the chat room. Guy. Oh, was it? Yeah, nice. That was me. You're welcome. No, was it? Uh, okay. while, while we're still in this segment, um, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, we do have another email. It's uh, it's from uh, our old friend, Mr. Mad Mike. Oh, and it's a video. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that later. Yeah, we'll get to that later. All right. <laughs> and we can talk to our guests now. Um, so, uh, so and once again, tell everybody you zombies wrestling. Let it remind us again how these connect. Wow. Okay. How do they connect? Uh, the idea of the story is is that it's um like a Buck Rogers sort of dude like from the fifties, and he lands on Earth. He doesn't really know he's on Earth to begin with, and uh, it's populated by. Uh, zombies who are wrestling each other and they're kind of like lorded over by like a this evil computer so basically it's a way to get uh zombies and wrestling and like science fiction genre in a whole kind of together it's a four uh issue series and they're all available online at this time so if you want to flip the issue two and oh, show yeah, everyone your I got that right. Little show, cameo. Yeah. Show everyone your little cameo. Oh, yeah, there. look at that. Issue number two. All this happened. Great ladder match. Zombies and everything. Looks like King Kong Bundy with a beard going on there. <laughs> uh, but look at this right here. It's it's. Uh, let's see if we blow that. Uh, well, it kind of looks like Songatron. Right. But, uh, yeah. but 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 in full resolution, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, <laughs> it's a. You made a comic book. That's kind of awesome. And I am buff. Look at me. <laughs> Swole. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that, that, that is awesome. That you is know, completely uh, awesome. I was completely geeking out when you showed. Well, you showed. You get. You gave me like a little square of uh, what was going on there, and I'm like, yes. I'm, I'm glad you were able to make it out on the phone. But uh, you know uh, Scott Headland from the Comic Con, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's actually the one that did the covers for. Two and four for us, so you can have him to. Yes, to uh, we thank for that. we uh, we interviewed him about uh, uh, his name, the, the weirdlings. Yeah. Uh, on on our Sorgatron Media specials um, <laughs> on the site, uh, but yeah, he's a really cool guy, and I know he does comic book pit with Dan. Yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. I, I was looking through. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, he put like a he put a comic book pit one on one side, and then the Sorgatron camera on the other. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, let's show that off too. I didn't see that over there. Um, but yeah, there's comic book pick going on down the left there. So, uh, it's, it's really cool to see, uh, you know, that, 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 you know, kind of synergy happening amongst, uh, uh, some Pittsburgh people here. Yeah. So, but, um, so, uh, so did you, did you put the, all four issues out like at, at the same time? Or? Yeah. That, that's the way that I work. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're not leaving anyone out there hanging for like two issues and then you have to wait a year to get issue three or, or whatever. So I tend to get like a whole project done at the same time and just let it all, you know, hang out. Mm. <laughs> Lunchbox, it's good at letting things hang out. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, My he has his hat on as we speak, <laughs> and he's got his hat on. Right. Yeah. So Balls out hat on. <laughs> <laughs> uh so i mean uh this was uh this is pretty much since we since we talked this all this all kind of yeah, developed together about six months going now i'm just mm -hmm. wondering when he's gonna break up the band but so far <laughs> it's been pretty good i think when we were here we had some of the art done for the first uh, yeah. the first issue yeah, yeah and then it's like you just got to give us time to get the rest of it together so yeah yeah but yeah so it's all done uh processed and like i said it's available on johnnyx.com yeah we Excellent. had a successful convention season too it was pretty cool we did some big ones like cinema wasteland in ohio and uh the zombie fest was great for us too, which downtown that was fantastic this year, and uh, of course horror realms. Horror realm, horror realm was a good time, really good time. 
So it's been a pretty good reaction, though? Yeah, fun. I mean, good reaction. I did The, the best we did was at Zombie Fest, I think. Um, mm -hmm. He was doing zombie sketches, and we sold a lot of books that day, too. So it was pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. It, it really is the hot thing. I, we, were, we were walking around New York Comic Con, and, and it, it, I think I made a comment to Chachi. I was like, everything's got zombies. Yeah. That's not the hook for me anymore. Yeah. Well, I no, I, and that's... But, but, but this is... Oh, we're sick of I'm zombies. Sick. We're, we're, we're sick of them right now. Seriously. Well, I mean... He's done. Seriously, you can... Everyone is just throwing zombies wherever they want. Right, yeah. And expecting it to sell a million copies. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was... I mean... I, I can't remember what I was watching or what I was... What I was doing. Oh, it was the uh, Ancient Aliens two, two or three weeks ago yeah. had... UFOs were causing like zombie outbreaks or something. They were they were like tackling this from like a you know like a semi you know like how the History Channel has all these you know wild TV shows where they get these crazy people on there and they're talking about how UFOs caused zombies in the past. And I at that point in time I was like, look, I'm done, man. You know, that's it. That's, it's, that's it's, a little it's much. about to be played out. You know, yeah, like, they killed like, vampires now they're killing zombies. Yeah. So it's just... Well, I mean, the only thing recently hey. that I didn't really I didn't really uh, <laughs> mind as far as them using zombies was Deadliest Warrior did a season yeah, finale that was fun, of yeah. Vampires vs. Zombies. That's a good thing. Yeah, nice. yeah, it was fun. Nice. So, I mean, they that... Lost. Well, <laughs> kind of. They, they lost that particular battle. Right, yeah. But they wouldn't have lost the entire war. Yeah, they're about numbers. So. Yeah. Okay. But, um... Yeah, but, yeah, like, we're totally, I think, uh, we're, as far as I'm concerned, like, I'm, you know, maybe it's just the Halloween season or whatever, but I'm just, I'm just about done with them. Was <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, was, is it just a four-issue series and that's it on yeah, this one? it's gonna wind up being sequelized, like, we'll go back, okay. we'll go back to continue, but just cool, the, cool. the first, it's like the introduction kind of into the world, and then yeah. this clean-cut, uh, space captain, I think, I think we're, we're pretty much settled on that. When we come back, he's gonna be like, a like an Elvis type of guy, like, he's gonna be like, so kind of like uh, popular or whatever like he doesn't care like he's gonna be all big and fat and have like giant uh, uh scars sideburns <laughs> and just kind of like drink and beat up zombies be a broken long. man basically yeah. yeah awesome awesome now but, i know uh now chachi i know you well, we were talking about this concept before and you're like how does it work yeah like i think I, you you had a little bit of a of a, of a technical uh -oh. issue with okay, it. Uh -oh, cool, okay cool cool, cool. cool. And i think you you weren't here when they were here no, last, right I, I, so now he's he's kind of our resident <laughs> zombie expert or uh you know whatnot all right well first can i just open up this debate by saying that uh it's a sort of a humorous comic book. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's a little zany. There's some zany stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, our All hero right. doesn't even realize he's on Earth. So that's okay. the running joke here. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Well, my whole problem when when I was informed of this entire thing was that it's zombies. <laughs> this whole situation, <laughs> right? It's zombies. Yeah. Which is a dead object decaying. How are they wrestling? Well, it's they're organized by Booker, our megalomaniac <laughs> robot, who's using them. He throws them in the ring and just says, let's go. And they just fight. Well, they catch on. They remember things from their past. It, and It's and, kind of like a play on like the later, well, the mid-range like Romero movies. Even Dawn of the Dead, like, where they go to the like, mall because they remembered to do that. Okay. So yeah. it's kind of like that thing. But, okay, so we get, what, are, we what get, they're doing is loosely wrestling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like... Um, Ripping each other apart, really. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. And uh, we get into, like, the idea of, like, uh, some kind of, like, a uh, medical experimentation. Like, oh, he's, yeah. like, augmenting them somehow, yeah, he's, so... he's playing Frankenstein. He was a scientist before he was a robot. Well, like, you could so he's see, enhancing their abilities. Look, there's, like, totally for real wrestling moves. There's an arm yes. ring. There's an arm <laughs> ringer right there on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> You like okay. that headshot, <laughs> and then he kicks the guy's head off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. That, no, my whole thing sold, was everyone's sold. taking zombies and making them do things that zombies scientifically cannot do. Right. Which mm -hmm. irritates or me. Or just like throwing concepts like uh, Nazi zombies. Uh, yeah. Nazi zombies Did you just say the words uh, zombies oh, I like and scientific in the same? I was gonna say. It, I no. was gonna call them. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't even start with me on that. Because using science, you can prove that zombies aren't going to be able to run ever. I don't know. I disagree. I have a I have a zombie theory. I call it the the tequila zombie theory, and that 
it really has to do with uh, how long it's been since the the body dies. Mm-hmm. Like if a body dies and becomes reanimated, he's gonna be able to move a lot easier than like one that's been like right. But as time goes on, right? Oh, definitely. Then he's gonna lose that function. Right. right. What well, our what our robot does is he enhances when they eat, though they get strength, and that and that strength goes to whatever their abilities are. That little whole segment on that actually, where Booker is like experimenting. Oh. Uh, yeah. So we kind of covered that. We yeah. Fair enough. We're old and, now, and, so we have to go to the, that and Frankenstein the, mythology. To follow up on the, the tequila zombie theory, the older the zombie gets, the more it's able to remember. So it's a threat because it can kind of figure out how to open a door, mm. where the younger zombies are a threat because they can kind of move faster and they're a little bit stronger. So. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Interesting. I like that. I've no, it's a, a, not a take I've heard before on zombies. You want to hear our term for it? Yes, I do. Fleshosynthesis. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, that's awesome. It's a real thing. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Excellent. It's real Excellent. for Booker anyway. <laughs> He's a robot. I definitely can't argue with that. That. So, what's the plan uh, for the series going forward? Uh, we have plans. We were going prequel, special. but became too Lucas, and so we didn't go prequel. We, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then we got tired of zombies, so we're just kind of like. I think we're gonna just give let it cool out for a little while and mm, have fun with it. We're, we're doing our first in store book signing actually together uh, this Saturday at uh, Pittsburgh Comics. Nice. If you know Colin, uh, Scott, and he'll be there. Mm-hmm. Scott Headland and Matt Eames will be there. Who's the other cover artist? Excellent. So yeah, that should be a good time. That's our first in store, but we've done these conventions for the past three or four months now. So it's been a good time. Awesome. Good run. Oh, so I would just like to go back to what you were saying, Sorg. Mm. The uh, Zombie Nazis was a great book. Dead Snow. Oh, you know, not, yeah, Dead Snow is what I was. I was talking <laughs> okay, about. no. Yeah, dark, I'm not I saying it was movie. bad. I mean, I, I, sometimes it's like an interesting new spin and everything. You know, yeah. Well, I can't remember what it's called, but I bought one. There was a zombie one. movie called The Horror that I loved. That I found randomly on Netflix. You ever yeah, seen that no, one? I, I, that's it, it was like they yeah. were like pretty much boxing zombies. Yeah, and it was it's like I never thought about. You just keep punching them to keep them away. Have you ever seen? Uh, it was tremendous. Enter the Zombie King. It's all about masked wrestlers fighting this zombie king that's a masked wrestler. <laughs> he hit me with this today. I, I had like, never heard of it. Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What it's called what? It's called Enter the Zombie King. Enter the Zombie King? Yeah, yeah, like enter dot dot dot. You the stumped everybody king. today, man. I don't <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was, uh, I actually. 3D? 3D like just came up. Rock really? to I don't, no, I don't know. I haven't game. watched it yet. I was actually, uh. I wrestled a show last weekend, and one of the guys was like, "Here, you need to check this out," and brought the movie in for me. So I haven't got a chance. Oh to my check god! It out. But, it, but it, oddly, like underneath that, I got Zombie Beach wow. Party. Three. <laughs> I don't think that's, and it's kind of what we're talking about. It's like, eh, it's just, well, I mean, I my know. my prime example is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And zombies. Mm-hmm. I mean, the I didn't like the book to begin with, with just regular humans, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you can't put zombies in it and expect me to like the book. The uh, this is, this yeah, is, it's like the recent these peanut butter cup theory <laughs> like you know you've got your chocolate and my peanut butter you got yeah my, it's like you have to have two concepts that kind of work right. together where you this, know this looks tremendous wow, my god that. look at that i should have brought it in we could have sat here and did a whole screen this, Damn. Do you have this I, yeah it's sitting on my tv at home <laughs> all right we need to do a we're going to do a double feature screening uh, we're going to do five dollar wrestling chachi for everybody and we're going to do uh enter king of the zombies so we can come back a third time uh yeah okay. I, I think this needs to be a trilogy and i think at that yeah. point your co-host um, <laughs> that would be that yeah. would be their third in studio appearance. Yeah, yeah, third which, in studio. Which, You're more of a co-host on the show than Russell Fan is, and he's been here for like two years. <laughs> which by wow. show rules. <laughs> hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Uh so <laughs> where do they go for? I want to find a I want to see if this is on Netflix. <laughs> wow. Carry on the interview. I'm going to see if it's on Netflix. <laughs> uh, but oh no, you mentioned you mentioned offhand there. You, you you were talking about returning the wrestling, and you actually have. Last time I was here, I was talking about uh, I was talking about re- uh, getting back in the ring, and I actually have. I've been wrestling for a few months now mm-hmm. with the uh, KSWA, which I haven't had a chance to get down there yet. It's the only promotion in town I think I haven't intended. They're they're good. It's like it's just kind of like old school, kind of like Smash Mouth, kind of like uh, some of it's like '80s rock and wrestling sort of. Trying to find your site again. There it is. <laughs> uh, and, and, and you have all your appearances here, of course, on uh, johnnyaxe.com yeah. for everybody to check out. And anyway, hey, look, there's us. Hey. Um, <laughs> uh, information on Pittsburgh Comics. 
Um, excellent, excellent. Uh, do, do you have any other detractors like Chachi that come up to you just like shaking their head like that? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the best. So usually, usually at the conventions, I'm busy drawing. Like I'll do like zombie portraits, you know, for a couple bucks, and poor Dave gets stuck dealing with everyone that's waiting in the line, <laughs> explaining things. Yeah, so. Well, like, so why does this work? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no. The best was an older woman at Zombie Fest who just came hobbling up. And just said, what's this? I said, well, that's the sport of the apocalypse. It's zombie wrestling. And she goes, how do you know that? And I just, well, it's, doc- <laughs> it's documented right here. That was the only answer I had. You know, I'm not going to argue with an old lady, but she was mad. But she was kind of well, mad about it. I actually like the guy who was hassling you. And, he, and you were like, hey, do you like comics? And the guy's like, no. No. And he walked away. And he just walked away. <laughs> that was the best reaction I had all day. He's like, no. <laughs> Excuse me, do you like cars? No, that was it. No. Yeah, like he stopped and was looking he, at the he books. Went, he went through each issue, just like finger on top of it, and I was like, you like comics? No. And that was it, walked away. He is at a Comic-Con. No, at he was at a Zombie oh, Fest. Oh, Zombie right? Fest, I so see. So we'll give him an out on but that. He got his, <laughs> but he put his grubby fingers all over our books, yeah. man. <laughs> He's a toucher, not yeah. a reader. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> tremendous, tremendous. So <laughs> we did get some fans out of it, though. I will say, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Let me see if there's anything from the chat room here. Enter the Zombie King is not available on Netflix. Ah, oh, man. man. Okay, uh, Amazon on demand. Uh, <laughs> this needs to happen right now. Uh, BitTorrent. I don't even care right now. Um, so <laughs> your local library, maybe. Um, <laughs> But it's like it's like it looks like it's a group of like three or four masked uh, lucha types, mm-hmm. and then you really don't get a good idea of like what the bad guy looks like, like or whatever. It really, I, I feel like this is gonna be like uh, what was the one that Rey Mysterio Senior was in a few a few years ago? It WrestleManiac. Was, WrestleManiac. <laughs> it was so bad. It was like it was porn bad, Whoa. which is ironic because they were trying to film a porn in the movie. Nice. And yeah. Like, was he like a? spirit of a wrestler or something or is that I, the one was junior in one no, I, no. that's that's they, they apparently he was senior but it's very misleading because it just says ray mysterio on oh, it maybe that's and it. obviously wwe just says ray mysterio yeah, yeah not junior or anything like that and you can't see the mullet probably no, on the car on the front of the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, but uh, but yeah, it was just I, I don't even know if they explained it. I kind of lost interest halfway through, but um. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, uh, so go check it out, JohnnyAxe.com. dot com. Um, and uh, oh wait, I, have, I, I think we have some footage here. Oh, hold on. Well, I hope you found a good one. Yeah, <laughs> man, they're good. <laughs> Didn't you send me one? Um, I lost it. I'm sorry. Ah. But uh, but yeah. If you go to um, come if, the earth. if you go to the uh, the website. Mm-hmm. And click on the little wrestling boots. It'll take you to like a a page that has all the. My 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 resolution's really low here. Yeah. Oh, go go check it out johnnyax.com, KSWA, uh, and there's there there they are. We need to get these guys in the Indy Minute because they're local here, um, in here in Pittsburgh, of course. But um, yeah, the animals coming. The oh, Georgie Animal Steel. Yeah, in I December, heard about that. Yeah. So they they do a lot of community outreach stuff and they do like a toy drive. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's coming up on December third mm-hmm. in Lawrenceville, and uh, the animals come in to help them out with that. Excellent. Uh, no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Go Sorry, it's still a Muppets hangover. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I think we're all in a Muppets hangover. We're like, man, just, what's up with the Muppets hangover? I mean, they were on Raw last week. Oh my yeah. god. And I missed. I went to yeah. I went to New York last weekend and watched the Muppet Show almost the entire time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw you uh, tweeting yeah. about that. That was tremendous. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, no, the, uh, that's, that's the next thing: Muppets vs. Zombies. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's all licensed, though. If it happens, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you behind the board. No. I will kick you in the face. <laughs> I just want you to know Walt, that. And I want to watch. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, guys, for joining us and uh, and checking in on the project. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for having us once again. And uh, and uh, let's uh, let's go do a little bit from gold. A lot of crazy hap- stuff happening this week, and a little something from Mad Mike. I don't know what yet. Let it out, man. Let it out. <laughs> let it all out. Put it out there. Just oh, let your man. anger fly. Oh, God. You feel better? Oh, the rail bender. Cool rail bender. Is 
literally the fail rent. It's the fail render is what it is. It will fail your rent. I don't know what you're talking about. It gets you drunk. Sorry. <laughs> you got, well, hold on. I'm taking my clothes off. Sorry, I'm going to restart. I kind of Sorg, can you hear us? Sorg, listen, Sorg, Sorg, get like your attention, Sorg, Sorg, look at me. Fuck me, motherfucker, raise the hell out of night. Get these files, that's the fourth start in the fight. Greetings, Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Mad Mike here, back once again, for the Mad Mike Minute of Mayhem. Minute is in quotation marks. Um, just wanted to talk about WrestleMania, actually. Now, we all know that... John Cena and The Rock are headlining this year's WrestleMania, and they had sold out, and sold big, very quickly, very fast. I think because that match has such huge implications, and because that match is basically going to sell WrestleMania, that we don't need an Undertaker match this year. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say Taker Triple H is going to have their third go of it. Um, or maybe Wade Barrett or CM Punk or The Miz or, you know, someone like that. Me, personally, I think that after WrestleMania this year, when John Cena beats The Rock, he should come out and challenge The Undertaker for WrestleMania 29, hopefully in Dallas, and say that he wants to end the take the Taker streak before it gets to 20 and 0. And then you automatically have a huge, huge match for WrestleMania for WrestleMania 19 or 29 that can sell out the Cowboy Stadium if that's where they're happy. Anyway, just my thoughts for this week. Um, I'm gonna be in Pittsburgh, coming down. Ooh, in T minus. 20 hours or so, I'm going to be getting on my bus, and there's going to be a karaoke jam on Friday, which is going to be awesome, and uh, if you see me around Pittsburgh, if you just see me walking around, this doesn't apply to people on the Mayhem crew, but if you see me walking around and you say, Mad Mike, and you scream out my name, you're allowed to chop me, as per usual. Alright guys, have a good show, and I'll see you this weekend. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. This is episode 295, and this is a segment we like to call Remember When? Do you remember when the WWE used to sell pay per views? I do. I remember when they didn't have to rely on superstars coming back after eight years uh, because they have a, another, movie, another movie to promote. And they actually gave me a storyline that I cared about. Not just because this guy is coming back. And I don't think that the, the WWE has sold a pay-per-view since Money in the Bank. Um, they just, they, I, I don't get what they're doing with Survivor Series. Uh, the lone Survivor Series match is made up of a bunch of guys that no one cares about. Uh, you have The Rock and Cena versus Miz and Truth, which on paper looks like a completely garbage match. Um, it looks like clearly these two are going to win. The only reason that they're doing this is so that they can have the rock come back to action. There's no point. There's no buildup. There's no, the only reason the rock is coming back is because he hates the Miz and our truth. But why, why, why should I drop $50 for this pay-per-view? The WWE is not doing that. TNA has long not done that. And it just begs the question. Why? Why should I put down $50 of my money? Why should anybody put down $50 of their money for a product that doesn't really have any storyline? What, what is the build up here? What is the build? What is the point? What, the Cena, Cena and Rock versus R Truth and Miz. Why does that match exist? Explain to me why that match exists. Is there any reason for that to work? No, there isn't. They just did it. They just threw these two guys together. Like, oh, let's let's do Cena and uh, and Rock against uh, um, Miz and Our Truth. Sure, great, wonderful. Why isn't CM Punk involved in this? Why isn't it Punk and Cena instead of Rock and Cena? Clearly, because The Rock has a movie coming out. They want to make sure that they promote the hell out of that. 
but it doesn't matter. I, I, I wish the WWE would sell this pay-per-view. When they used to sell pay-per-views, they had somebody going for a title, somebody who, uh, you know, who's long been, uh, you know, striving to get this and then they can't, uh, or they're, they actually have a storyline build up. They have something going, they have, you know, this guy's never gotten shot before. There's just nothing there. And it just amazes me that they're just going to say, we're going to throw the rock in here and that's going to sell a $50 pay-per-view. Look, I love the rock and I want to see the rock wrestle and I want to see him be who the rock is, but for the love of God, sell the pay-per-view. Give me a storyline to work with here. Don't just put this guy in a match and call it a day. You could call back any great wrestler. You could call back Stone Cold for uh, whatever the de- December pay-per-view we're going to call it this year. You could bring back Stone Cold next month with no storyline, and apparently that's going to sell a $50 pay-per-view. If that's not the case. You need to give me a storyline. Give me something to work with. Uh, and going back to Mad Mike's uh, video that we just watched, you have a, uh, you know, they're talking about this, the, uh, you know, a lack of an Undertaker match or a Cena versus Taker. Why though? And I think Mad Mike brings up at least a decent enough storyline, but is, is it worth it? Is it worth having this buildup of a full year for an Undertaker match? The guy can barely put together three matches in a row right now, let alone give him a year buildup and try to make it the biggest match of the year. I, I'm, I'm just out on that. It's just ridiculous to me. And uh, that is when I remember when. Uh, just to, can I just say real quick, I, I do really agree with AJ. I think they've done a horrible job at trying to explain this whole Rock and Cena team. Like, I, d- I don't think it makes any sense other than, oh, it's Rock and Cena that'll sell a pay-per-view. But next week, Raw gets rocked! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, hey, you know, the biggest, the biggest killer for me is, is you know, the, the, I think these taped Brock segments just have all fallen flat ever since the beginning. You know, it, yeah, they have. It, it kind of like, yeah, he's back and he's back for real, but he's not here this week. You know, I mean, <laughs> Ever. Uh, you know, Ever. but he's not here, but Ever. he's so back into wrestling and he's not going away. He's just going to be mailing in tape segments till the cows come home and his paycheck. Um, yeah, I get we get you're busy and you you have a career and everything, but, you know, that's kind of. And I think the, the, the real fans, the longtime fans, not even like these the smart fans or anything like that, just feel a little cheated out of it, you know? I mean, wrestling isn't a taped, phoned in tape segment. Wrestling is right there with the people, type, type, typing away on their phones. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm distracted by the group that was uh, made on WMS Gold this week. Plug. Um, but- no, which I posted in, by the way. You're, so you're yelling at yourself? Oh, well, yep. Anyways, uh, yeah, that wrestle fan. What a fucking asshole! You do hate yourself. Anyways, <laughs> wrestle uh, fan, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta love yourself, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I, it's a, uh, it, it's weird. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, what do yeah. you think, LB? <laughs> like Bobby said in the chat, oh. rise above Jordan satellites. <laughs> what do you think, LB? Yeah. I think I think they couldn't come up with a good uh, idea for a uh, thing, so they said, "Well, the Rock is doing well on his own. Let's piggyback off of him because he piggybacked <laughs> off of us." Yeah, dog is pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my dog is pissed too. Jesus Christ, calm cool. it down, like puppy. Puppy says, "Fuck the Rock." Fuck him in his Samoan. I, just, I, I don't. I'm not interested. In, I, I hate to say this. And it's a terrible thing to say as a wrestling fan. I'm just not interested in WrestleMania this year. In WrestleMania, <laughs> where we oh, we're looking that far. Uh, I'm, I'm curious. I, I don't. I don't care about John Cena versus The Rock. Like Mad Mike mentioned, oh, it's got big implications. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Fucking okay. Yeah. So either John Cena wins, and that makes sense because you know he's part of the company, or The Rock wins, and then he goes away, and nothing changes. There's no implications. It's not going to be a good match. Nobody cares. Yeah, it's yeah. one of those hypothetical George right. versus Bird type of things. Like who would win in a one-on-one game? You'll never know. Well, and that's you know, the whole point. And you want that speculation. Quiet. Who would win the match against <laughs> this person or that person? And, uh, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard her, AJ. Quiet. Yeah. That's what I, she said. Um, you know, I, th- I really think they're phoning it in because, I mean, look at just saying, hey, guys, The Rock's going to wrestle in the New York area. Sold uh, out Survivor Series, and now we can't go. Um, I guess. Uh, what? And so, I, I, I just don't. I wish. 
oh, we're going to put Rock on a car That'll, and, and selling out tickets. What does that say to, you know, the state that WWE's in? You know what I mean? It's just... Uh, you know, parlor, not, it, they, I, I don't know. Parlor tricks and nostalgia to make on. you buy a pay-per-view? The show would have sold you, out you anyhow. You don't so have a good enough storyline to sell a $50 pay-per-view. That's the sad part right now. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you, don't, you can't, you can't use your talent building good storylines to sell a pay-per-view, so we're just going to bring in The Rock. Yeah, let's yeah. call it. Let's call this the third biggest pay per view of the year. WrestleMania being one, Rumble being two. I'm right? not going to pay for the pay per view anyhow, so I'm just happy to see The Rock. <laughs> You're a fan. I let's be honest. Your... The whole reason they, they the whole reason they do these sorts of things is to get people to buy these events, right? Mm -hmm. It's the whole uh, that's the biggest money maker for the company besides merchandise. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me. That the whole reason that I should be plunking fifty dollars down is to pay, is to watch The Rock. That's it. That's the only reason. You have not. I, I get the fact that there are people like, you know, that Mad Mike who are going to go to Madison Square Garden who want to see The Rock and are going to see Zach, or who likely will see Zach Ryder versus Dolph Ziggler. You you know that there's there's opportunities there, but that's not being pushed. I mean, let's be honest. We're two weeks out, and they don't have that that Dolph Ziggler Zack Ryder match. That's not a thing yet. That's not official. It's likely. Yeah. But it's not official. It's you know, all assumed. All For, as far just... as we know, it's going to be Ziggler Morrison. Right. Yeah. And this is the biggest issue of all: is that how how are you putting all of these things? It, they they aren't putting forward any actual storylines, and the only one that they actually have right now is Triple H versus a guy who couldn't wrestle in TNA. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Kevin Nash's promo when he was like, I'm the best in the world. I could have buried you back then. And I'm thinking to myself, dear Kevin Nash, have you never seen a wrestling tape of yourself? You weren't that good in 94. You were terrible in 2007. I don't get where you think you could be world champion right now. It just astounds me. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, they basically announced this Cena Rock match last year, last year around WrestleMania, and they—I mean, if you this, know something's going to happen for a year, yeah, you could spend some spend a little time building it, mm -hmm. right? Not just throw this but again, together last minute. But again, they again they they sold out WrestleMania in record time. They they really. Don't have to say anything. Say, hey, you know, Rock's going to be here in Miami. And, you know, it's going to be cool. Yeah. You know, they 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 did record numbers or not record, at least an upswing in numbers just by having the Rock as the guest host this year. Um, I mean, and but that's th I think what like Lunchbox pointed out. I'm not like not being excited for WrestleMania. We already know two of the matches for WrestleMania, and it's still like five months away. Wait, what's the other one? Daniel Bryan and the world champion, whoever that is. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that is a little more mystery to that. And I'm not even excited happen. about that though. It's just no, that it's no. just they, well, they've given you no reason to be excited about that. With yeah, because they shit on Daniel Bryan. Oh for yeah, the past, like three it's months. Like, did they, didn't they turn him heel? Did I hear something about that? Not, no, not did a thing yet. Where, like, but he was it, Big Show was encouraging him to cash in the Money in the Bank during SmackDown, and he's like, no, 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 I'm waiting till Mania. Daniel Bryan versus Mark Henry. That's going to be a showstopper. Oh wow, that is going to be a technical catch as catch can. The only kind of way, match. the only way they save that is if CM Punk's the champion by then. Let's be honest. But he's on Raw. Yeah, for now, but that can change. I don't know. That's I mean, those the, the, we're doing super shows now. Those are so fluid. Everybody's in the same locker room now, or however you want to think that works. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not excited. I just, I feel like they've really hot shotted this whole thing. And it's just, I don't know. Hot shotted? Really? Uh, no, I think it, they have. It's not a hot shot. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a low blow. You know, it's a, it, it's, it's a hardly trying, you yeah. know, it, it's, it's, here's another thing as to why the, why the, about this whole rocket virus series thing. Who are they facing? Yeah. <laughs> it took you a while to think, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, because they're not on <laughs> any no of the ads. The fact that Miz and Truth are the ones that they're facing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like that's what they're teaming about. up together for the first or last time ever. So they're just going to concentrate on the Rock and not even focus on the fact it's, that Miz and Truth are in the match. They could have had, they could have put them in there against Crime Time, and they would sell out of Survivor Series. Exactly. You know? I mean, it does not well, matter. That's because Crime Time's awesome. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, uh, 
Do Do you remember when? Um, yeah. Hey, there, look at that. Uh, do you remember when uh, Miz had the title? It was really good. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> tremendous. And now he's now just window dressing. With our truth, who? Which is also why good. the fuck does he still have a job? <laughs> uh, oh, come on, you haven't been happy with our truth the last it's several funny, months. But, okay, it's I, funny. I, I, our truth is always worked my nerves. He is but, oh, okay. Oh yeah, our, he still has a job. Your nerves. Now it's just like oh, that silly our truth. No, I, I mean I think he's really kind of come with Michelle. Oh, our truth dressing in that screen mask. You're but, so silly. But, but he still has a job because the good our truth is gone. And his patented move is a, an attack outside the ring with a plastic full water bottle. <laughs> but then you just get a laugh out of it. The kids like, love it. The kids just just love, love it. it. Josh, you remember that time? It's a, a totally imitatable act because I hit you with that water bottle one time and you had to go to the hospital. I know. <laughs> because I was wet. <laughs> that's what she said that's how you watch the season against team it is yeah i got hit with a plastic water bottle where are you and got going wet. where are you going you just my, like disappeared my drink. i got hit with a plastic water bottle and i was all moist and i had to go to the hospital <laughs> to take care of your moistness yes yeah. <laughs> they had to, Imitable they, act. they had to surgery the moistness out of me wow it was a i don't know that anyone's ever yeah. said that before <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the uh, thing has just gotten out of hand. Move on. Yeah, move on. Move on. Hey guys, we can get a uh, Google uh, 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 WWE on uh, Google Plus now. The good r truth is gone. Mm. You guys circle them. You got well, that that and they also, didn't they announce they have some new like social network thing? I think that is the new social network thing. Is it? I thought there was like a thing where you can is chat it? with. Uh, yes, it's like a connection of Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. But like, where was this? I I saw it somewhere on their website, but now it's not up there. It's not on their website. I'll take a peek. I'll take a peek while we're talking and see if it'll pop up. But, I mean, uh, in, anyway, and we have our uh, – they just released business pages yesterday. They were one of the debuting uh, of the 20 brands, including the Muppets, by the way. And I hear the Muppets is one of the better pages. Uh, yeah. But so far yeah. – uh, I mean, so far their page, and I just ended up on our page apparently. Um, That's good. Think. People looking for WWE end up on WMS. There you go. Uh, but now this is Excellent. it so far. I mean, you know, like everything else, it's it's just kind of like a a uh, while they already have thirteen thousand followers, uh, they have circled them, including oh look, there's a there's there's a fan of the show that's following them. Um, but I, you know, this general stuff. There's a bunch of sh shots from Raw, and uh, oh, did they announce the Google Plus thing on Raw last night? Is that what happened? So they sort of did. They sort of did. Uh, it was it was like during someone's entrance. They're like, I mean, "Hey, we're on Google Plus now." It's the same stuff you get on Twitter, but it's a little more visual. And I think the comments will be a little more interesting on here. Hmm? No, 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 maybe not. No. Uh, Probably not. But uh, you know, it's a lot easier dealing with the videos on here than it is on their website. Let's be honest. That's true. So, you know, uh, speaking of social networks and professional wrestlers, guess who is following me on Get Glue? Who? <laughs> uh. Apparently he was uh, sober enough to follow me, but it is the hurricane himself. <laughs> Shane Helms no is following me on Get Glue. You know what? Normally that would be a huge accomplishment, but Get Glue does that shit automatically. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like that person, like I'm following so many people on Get Glue that I didn't actively go out and select to follow mm -hmm. because it looks it looks for people in your feed that match people and other people's feeds and says, Hey, you follow someone that's exactly like this person. You're going to go ahead and follow them. Well, it's just like I had a, uh, you know, a, a, a Philip Brooks, by the way, that's CM Punk kayfabe. Uh, it followed me on, on, on Google plus. Your mother's is on Google not, plus. She's not, but she might be soon after the conversation with her today. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to go into news, did anyone hear about this new relationship between uh, TNA and OVW? TNA and OVW? Yeah, apparently. What's happening there, Russell fan? Apparently, uh, they announced uh, that they struck up a relationship with uh, OVW. I guess it's um, it's with Bruce Prichard. Uh, it's some sort of developmental deal, I guess, in a way. 
I, you know, sort of, kind of, in a way, might be a developmental deal. Oh wait, okay, here uh, it says uh, TNA Impact Wrestling announces that they are entering into an exclusive relationship with Ohio Valley Wrestling, effective immediately as the official training and development facility for TNA current and future stars. Former wrestling star and o- OVW owner Danny Davis will work closely with TNA uh, Senior Vice President of Programming and Talent Relations Bruce Pritchard in the development of the t- talent through training, live events, and weekly television pro- production, allowing talent to explore every aspect of the business. Hmm. So it's kind of like FCW, I guess? Well, I mean, it really sounds like what OVW did before when they were developmental for WWE. So, yeah. um, I, I, you know what? Isn't there developmental the indies already? Not really. Because uh, I, yeah. which well, that's that, that's why this news shocked me because I thought OVW had a relationship with Ring of Honor. Uh, they do, and OVW actually um, did release a statement saying this will not affect our relationship with Ring of Honor. Okay, so yeah, because I know I know means. Cornette was doing stuff with our or with OVW too. Back in the day, maybe I, I didn't know. No, now even okay. Um, like, I, and they run, they ran some of their tapings out of the same place they do the OVW tapings. All it could mean is that TNA people show up at their 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 you know stuff every once in a while or get and train a little bit, and we basically have a deal. Say, hey, here's the talent coming through here. You should check it out. You know, and uh, yeah, that's, that's all it drunk. is. You know, and, and, and ROH mm-hmm. and TNA gets to uh, gets to uh, you know sharing the scraps that OVW provides. Yeah. So. Okay, just the good note. our truth is gone. <laughs> Wait, you're two stories back, Matt. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna randomly keep saying that. <laughs> this, okay, this is gonna sound. This is gonna be the good shot. has like, gone. This is gonna make me sound like a moron, but whatever. You are a moron. Shut your whoa, infant mouth. Whoa. Moving oh, on. I love, how, I love how I can't talk. Thank you. Moving <laughs> on. Calm it down. Moving on. Why is Ohio Valley Wrestling located in Kentucky? What? Well, Just saying. Uh, that's because the been. Ohio River separates Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois from thank the you. border of Kentucky. Okay, thank why. you for answering my question. This geography segment brought to you by the Russell fan. <laughs> never, never realized there that. There are no thank valleys you. in Texas. <laughs> I always thought they were in Ohio, but whatever. No, no, actually, uh, well, well, I guess we're the Allegheny Valley here in Ohio Pod Valley. Camp Ohio. Uh, no, you Ohio. also have the Monongahela Valley or the Monongahela Mon Valley, Valley Mon- and the Allegheny Valley, which would be north, and the Ohio Valley, which is uh, to the west. Yeah, yeah Pod yeah. Camp Ohio is in Kentucky. Yeah, it was. It I was. love to learn, learn, learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what else we got here? Um there was a, uh, you know, they, they, hey, Ch- uh, uh, what, uh, LB, that's your name. Wow. <laughs> uh, yes, you, sir. You love the numbers. I remember you were a fan of the quarterly results. That's true. I did. I did read, um, uh, read a little bit about that. Um, I don't know. It just seems it's with every time they do these announcements, it seems like um, uh, Vince. It comes across a little more delusional each time, and uh, that's not true. That's no, I can't say no, that. No, no. Vince doesn't come across delusional. Vince is trying to keep his business. He's trying to keep his shareholders from panicking. He's trying to keep people to from selling their stock and so on and so forth. But um, and it's such a weird for those though. You know, stock market. You know, they could be doing good. Like I mean, we're talking about. Let's say on our tech show, we're talking about Apple Computer. They they're making billions of dollars. Uh, this is how messed up the stock market is. Uh, the Apple says, you know, let's say for an example, maybe AJ can correct me. Uh, they projected about eighty five billion in profits, or revenue, or whatever. Uh, Ish. Wall Street uh, projected eighty nine. They they achieved eighty seven. But because they didn't do what Wall Street thought they should do for the year or quarter or whatever, their their stock dropped. So I you got you got to remember the stock market is effectively legalized gambling. Um, yeah, but yeah. there are a bunch of people who predict uh, the the they call it the street or Wall Street. They they predict what a company is capable of doing, what they believe the company is doing, and then when the company reports, 
if they beat the estimates or they meet the estimates, everybody goes, oh, okay, I can kind of get behind that. That's what everybody thought they were doing. They said they're doing that. Cool. Exactly. I will buy this stock. If they're not and they say, everybody thinks they're going to do well and they don't do so well, everybody goes, whoa, and I'm pulling my stock. I'm pulling my shares out of it or I don't buy into that. So if you actually get into the numbers here, um, the things that they usually look for are uh, year over year. Uh, month by month, especially because the WWE has the um, their pay per views, obviously in their in the, the you know their monthly pay per views, they look for the number of buys, the uh, amount of revenue generated per buy, um, and, and they look between uh, you know third quarter uh, of 2011, which is uh, what was just announced, compared to third quarter 2010, compared to third quarter 2009, to see a pattern uh, trend overall because Wall Street. Sometimes can go by, uh, you know, almost like a knee-jerk reaction of the current quarter, but they usually like to see a pattern of success before people go investing. And uh, I know Vince probably sounded a little delusional, but judging by the numbers that I'm reading right now, uh, they weren't completely out of control. No. Uh, I yeah. think they're showing the number of buys is a little uh, off, um, but at the same time, revenue is up. Uh, and that's what Wall Street generally likes. Uh, so just just to break this down real quick, uh, WWE announced pay-per-view revenues uh, for the three shows held in the third quarter of 2011 were 15.8 million. Uh, that's better than the 13.6 in the same quarter 2010 and 14.5 same quarter 2009. Um, the uh, July Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which was the big one that everybody was looking for, uh, 195,000 buys. Uh, which was up from 165,000 the year before, the year the Miz won, uh, but down uh, from the 267,000 buys that Night of Champions drew in 2009. Uh, obviously, we would need to go back to 2009's uh, Night of Champions. Uh, let's see what the big match was on that one. Uh, uh, I believe Night of Champions was Cena and Del Rio and then Punk and Triple H. Oh, no, no. 2009? No, 2009. Oh, 2009. I'm sorry. Uh, 2009 it looks, it looks like was... Uh, uh, I'll bring it up here. The okay, go ahead, AJ. I'll look it up. Um, so the uh, the big match was uh, Jeff Hardy defeating... C uh, 2009 was Jeff Hardy beating CM Punk for the title. Uh, and uh, let's see. Randy Orton That's beating stuff. Triple H and John Cena in a triple threat match. Mm -hmm. Uh... For the uh, for the title, that was 2009's Night Notice of Champions. Gracing uh, CM Punk with the title on the cover. Correct. Uh, August SummerSlam did uh, 296,000 buys in August. Uh, same event was 350,000 buys in 2010 and 369,000 buys in 2009. So uh, SummerSlam not looking so hot this year. Um, and I'm sure Vince and the boys were not so happy seeing that number under 300,000, considering they lost uh, effectively 54,000 buys. That's a significant number of people um, yeah. off of that but event. But still, which is, like, even with the slight numbers and and you know Wall Street or whatever says uh, it doesn't look good, and and and, and Smart Marks looking at these saying, oh, it, you know the numbers keep going down, keep going down. WWE is in no no uh, threat of going out of business anytime soon. They're making money no, hand no. over fist, even though the trends are down or whatever. They're doing just fine. Just trends so you know, for every uh, company and corporation across America. Yeah, yeah. If you want to, if you want to compare uh, SummerSlam 2011, uh, which had I don't remember the matches. Um, uh, the rematch of Cena and Punk. The rematch of Cena and Punk. Uh, last year, the year before SummerSlam 2010 was Team WWE versus the Nexus. Yeah. Uh, in a 35 minute elimination tag match. Um, also had uh, Dolph Ziggler defeating Kobe Kingston and uh, the Big Show defeating the entire Straight Edge Society in a, six, a three on one handicap match. Um, yeah. And then uh, SummerSlam 2009 uh, was uh, CM Punk beating Jeff Hardy uh, in a TLC match. And. Uh, Randy Orton beating John Cena for the WWE Championship. So I, I think that, you know, you have to, I think you, not only do you have to look at 
uh, the year over year, but you also have to look at the general storylines and what the matches were, what the draw was. Uh, I think last year's SummerSlam was pretty uh, pretty simple. You know, you had a big match, that Nexus match, that Nexus storyline carried that summer and into the fall. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe it was the pay per view after that, um, but it wasn't a Night of Champions. Um, September's Night of Champions uh, did uh, 161,000 buys, down 4,000 buys from uh, 2010, and uh, 8,000 buys from uh, 2009. So Night of Champions, the September event, is effectively doing the exact same numbers that it always has been. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition, uh, and uh, also, WWE also list- remember, they, well, that's going into the season where we're getting like pay per views every two to three weeks too. Right. So yeah, I think um, you're going to see a decline there. Right, and obviously SummerSlam does bigger numbers than all the other ones because they advertise the ever living shit out of it. It's one of the bigger pay per views yeah, uh, right, yeah. of, of the year. Uh, it's also worth noting that WWE listed six, sixty five thousand incremental buys for WrestleMania occurred during the quarter. I don't know how that happens, so that explains the increase. Uh, in fact, if you remove WrestleMania from the equation, WWE is actually down four percent to the three comparable events of two thousand ten. Uh, WWE reported that domestic buys increased 3% compared to last year, whereas international buys dropped by 14%. Uh, these are all stock numbers. Um, WWE is still making a crap load of money comparatively to TNA and all the other uh, promotions. But it's kind of interesting to see the actual pay-per-view numbers uh, when they come out and kind of comparing, you know, did the people like it? Uh, the one that I was really interested in was the Money in the Bank one because of the punk Cena. Yeah. Uh, yeah. reality angle it was the uh, thing that was a little bit different that really got i mean that they, i don't know how many people ran into it like just you know, over the weekend they were like man that cena punk thing everybody knew about that you know uh right. which is weird it because it was something not involving the rock you know not involving stone cold uh another division that isn't doing so good for them is which i can't really see why because i think we've kind of scoffed at a few of these flicks uh wwe studios uh is doing pretty bad uh they 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 earned uh 3.7 million in revenue this third quarter they got 7.6 last year uh it declined 5.5 i mean that's bad all around but they're, they're in a kind of a restructuring i think they replaced a guy already uh that that's heading the studio um and plus you know the, the change of self-distribution you're, you're going to generally just bring in less money rather than the theatrical releases i mean real theatrical releases which i think the last one was 12 rounds so um yeah but then again, I, you know, what are their costs for producing these straight-to-video movies in, in comparison? Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do. This isn't going to be the last thing for them. They're going to keep trying things. Uh, I think this is going to be the, hey, remember when WWE did those really bad movies that made No Holds Barred look pretty good? Um, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's what we're doing here. They're trying something. They're getting, they're getting their guys out there and getting their chops or whatever. Uh, like I'm looking at these movies, like what well, Inside Out, Chaperone, and Knucklehead. Knucklehead is funny. <laughs> Knucklehead was pretty good. I mean, I mean, it was funny. I mean, like, like you know, my 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 in laws have a, have a copy of it. They thought it was cute and everything. Uh, you know, Legendary. I think it's way too serious for anybody to really get into. And they buy, can't do serious and movies. buy a copy of. I know. I mean, who's going to do that except for the the huge John Cena fans? <sighs> yeah, you know? I know. Uh, well, they need to. They. I don't understand why WWE. Who is a and I get it? They're a pro wrestling company, and they and they're more than that. But they do all these like serious dramas. Yeah, it, well, it, why not do like action movies, like it, the, like the Stone Cold mm-hmm. movie um, that was on USA? Uh, yeah, that the one. The Condemned. The Condemned. I thought, yeah, the Condemned was good. You know, a, a good action flick. A twelve rounds. They I did. The, they did this. Yeah, twelve rounds. And I was the one think, that um, yeah, Cena was in. Yeah, that, Cena was the in Marine. that one. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I, I would, I would understand watching those. I just, I just can't get watching Inside Out about Triple H and how he got out of jail and blah blah blah. I, Which is so much like the chaperone, the the well, one with well, Randy Orton know. for a minute, you know. You would know, but you don't know how. <laughs> and and Knucklehead makes sense because Big Show for a long time was a comedy character, mm-hmm. and it does good with comedy, and you know. Plus, Big Show's done a lot of work on a lot of USA shows, and his, you know, he's proven that he can do comedy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's just I don't, I don't get why they're trying to do movies like Legendary and that new one that John Cena's in with, uh, what is it called? Uh, Actually, I think that's the Reunion. best looking one yet. Out of really? This 
This this one with John Cena, it's a close. I think it's getting destroyed. The critics Is hate it? it. Ain't nobody what? likes Wait, the, yeah, uh, the critics like re- any of these. And these aren't these yeah. aren't movies for critics. I, ideally, they should be movies for wrestling fans and and, and general Which, audience to pick up. Yeah. I, hey, if you want to get an, a good idea of whether or not these guys can do comedy, uh, that's a terrible picture, isn't it? <laughs> um, yes. Do you guys remember the SNL episode? That With had the rock. Um, mm-hmm. the rock and the Big Show and Triple H. I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mad oh, Mike yeah. just brought that up. He said he just watched it last uh, last night again. That episode was awesome. Yeah, I can't remember a time when I laughed less hard. <laughs> uh, mostly because I'm always. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I just uh, Mad Mike brought that up, and, and and you know these guys do have range. They have the ability. They're, uh, you know, if you really think, if you really, you know, break it down to levels of acting, they're likely some of the better actors that are out there, you know, right? Because they have to go out and do it in front of a live audience yeah. week in week out. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's the thing, and Matt, like Matt, like said, twelve rounds. I love twelve rounds. I would consider watching twelve rounds, but I'm not going to watch like the, the whatever that Randy Orton movie was, where he's, you know, there's a they're in the classroom. Right. And, you know. It's weird. It's, it's like it's I, I'm weird. not watching that. That one. That one was more popular than anything they've come out with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People fucking because love it that thing, but I mean, it's Randy Orton had a decent actor in it, Ned Harris. You know what yeah, I watched? Randy Orton had a side role. He didn't even you, have you, you know what I watched? Uh, uh, actually, just the other day, uh, I finally got to watch Fast Five. The Rock was tremendous. Ooh, I still that. haven't seen that. I, like I, I recommend it. Go, go Netflix it. Whatever you have to do. Uh, but I think it's worth it. I thought The Rock was great in it. Chachi, you, I think I think you really dug that. You one, right? can find it on Surf the Channel. Uh, anyways, um, what? It's but not, yeah, it's I, it's, I like how I like how Chachi's over there on the side, and you shoot over to him, and he's just sitting there rocking back and forth. <laughs> he's like a crazy sidekick. Like, let's go to the sidekick. And there's Chachi. You're my like Andy it's Richter on this or something. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I and. That's why I'm not upset with The Rock right now only doing no, no, via but, satellite things. Yeah. Because he's off making good movies. Oh, like, that's fine. But not, like, not like back in the day when we had on location thing when Hulk Hogan was doing Three Ninjas uh, straight right. to video. Right. Uh, a video where they gave him a toupee. Yeah. And, and Chachi, I understand that. And yeah, he is making some pretty good movies. But that doesn't do a lot for us wrestling fans. It doesn't do a lot for me when I'm watching the build up to a, a match on the third biggest pay per view of the year, and my whole thing is Rock pre taped, like half explaining to me why he hates the Miz. Like it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. And, and if you also go back to it doesn't have to make sense. Yes, you it go does. Back to no, you, you go back still to watched it. He helped the Miz win. I don't. I don't you, get it. it doesn't make sense all the way through. You still watched it. Therefore, it doesn't. Have of course, to make I'm going to watch it. It's WWE. I'm yeah, not gonna, no, no, no. It's not that. It, to it. me, it's not that it makes sense. It's just very meh. And it's like it's The Rock. It should be a lot bigger than this. Yes, and, exactly. And it really just doesn't feel like people are, are trying. We just want a good college try, there, Chachi. It was a good why college you, try. Good college you, try. Why are you like <laughs> Doctor Eviling me right now? It was a good college try. Yeah. He failed, but okay. he gave it a college try. Wait, are you talking about me or are you talking about The Rock? Why do you think we're talking about you? Wow. Because you said college try. It's a general term. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's so insane, damn, damn it, WrestleFan. I'm going to go yell in your face. I have again. to learn, okay? You have to teach me these. Wow. Nothing. You can't yell at me when you're teaching me. Oh, I'm about to yell at you oh. right here in your group on Facebook. What do you mean we can't yell at you? Yelling at you is how we teach you. <laughs> yeah. That's how we learn that's you. That's how with you our words. learn. That's right. You, you, oh. you take it in. We speak oh, it God, louder so it'll absorb in your ears more. WrestleFan, you give me a <laughs> headache. You're giving Instead me. Instead of take off my glasses because you didn't understand it was a college try. You apparently have never seen anything in the last like ten years, co- like oh. cartoon, even twenty years. They use they use give it the old college try on the Family Guy, The Simpsons. I know both of them have used it. Yeah, well, I don't watch The Simpsons that much, but uh, I don't. Uh. Anyways, uh, anything else you want to hit up here, guys? Yeah, that that that's that's 
Your, uh, your China won an award for her porn. Oh, good for her. Was yeah, it? mainstream crossover. Go way to go, China. There you go. She's, you know, they just need to book her. I knew she she can't make a WWE just needs to start a porn division. I mean, I'm sorry. What was the better visibility than than the Playboy specials that they did? Let's be honest here. What got more visibility? Hey, Hey, they did do that the whole segment on Raw that I fast forwarded through on my DVR after I fast forwarded (laughs) through all of Del Rio's promos because... CM Punk's dead on on that one. Yeah, too. yeah. Well, yeah I, saw, uh, I saw it. It looks like, the, am I right to see that they, they tried to do the same thing with Kelly Kelly's Maxim cover? Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's really? not the same. Really? There's, no, not, a it's poss- not, the there's same. not a possibility that those, that the Queen. Being here on Tuesdays is my like destiny. Kelly Kelly, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I was imitating Del Rio. Okay. <laughs> Being here on Tuesdays is my destiny. Boo this man! It's my destiny! <laughs> Also, Ooh, did you notice man. that they uh, hyped Kelly Kelly's uh, Maxim cover, uh, and it was she's on Maxim US, and they were in the UK. That is, yeah, yeah that's kind of weird. So why did they that, care? That exactly. Slight error. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, on that note, guys, let's get let's do go around the horn, guys. Chachi. Yeah. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? Did you guys know that JTG is still employed? <laughs> <laughs> Chachi, did you know JTG is the black bread heart? I mean, he's still employed. And he did got you know completely JTG buried on, on like Raw that? last night. Did he he trend was trending on Twitter during that match. I know, because everyone got, was got, surprised that he still has a job. And he got killed Everybody by Black Tista. What, JTG? Yeah, and he got destroyed by, by the Tista. British Batista. Black Tista. What? What? Because he's a combination of Batista and Steve Blackman. No, Black no. Tista was uh, Bobby Lashley. What the no, f- well, Bobby, Bobby that was Black Lesnar. Uh, yeah, that was Black Lesnar. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to call him the British Batista. He's not British. Batista. Yeah, the He's Brit- Welsh. So the Welsh Tista. Yeah, Welsh Tista. There well, you I'm go. I'm sorry. Where, where do you think Welsh comes from? The Welsh Tista. Europe. <laughs> yeah, this all one big country over there, anyhow. Uh, L- but yes, L- L- JTG oh, yeah. is still employed, and he got completely squashed on Raw last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, hey, right. at least you're employed. LB, what did you learn from <laughs> wrestling and or geography this week? Uh, I learned that JTG is still employed, <laughs> <laughs> and he was an. And I learned it from Chachi just at this very moment. <laughs> he still has a job. I didn't know that. Yeah, good for him, getting paid. And uh, remember when they broke him up in the first place and they gave him that match? It was in a WrestleMania or something. And uh, they, it was the whole thing was to put over Shad, and JTG wrestled a better match, and <laughs> so Shad got fired. <laughs> <laughs> and now he has legal troubles. Oh, poor yeah. Shad. I thought yeah. he got out of this. Oh, probably, probably. But Russell fan, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned and from Raw. Love. I learned from Raw that uh, well, we were talking all you know over the past times on the Mayhem show about how you know WWE's shifting and it's you know getting it's. I've learned it's it's just becoming you know business as usual. Oh, uh, like we mentioned before about The Rock, like oh, we're gonna have Kevin Nash come on and cut a promo about nothing and then not do anything. Oh, let's make fun of Michael Cole or make fun of JR again like we always do. Uh, it's just business as usual. Yep. Yep. WWE falling flat again, right? Yeah. AJ. What'd you I learn from us? something and then I forgot it and then I remembered it again. Um, you're not my, supposed to remember. I, you're supposed to learn. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't ask you to talk. <laughs> I remember. I remember what I learned this week. I learned that the WWE um, will bring out stereotypes only for other white people. <laughs> uh, case in point, the British set. Anytime they go to Britain, they bring out like the the British taxi, and then they put like the one red like phone booth <laughs> over on the left, and then they put like the British flag on the big like tall <laughs> HD board, and then the, you know that proves that they're in England. <laughs> uh, when they go to Mexico, there's no. There's no like overwhelming. Uh, there's no tourists. There's no tacos. There's no the like entrance. fake beaches. 
Mm. There's no nothing. There's nobody wearing drugs. sombreros or ponchos or anything like that. I mean, it, it tells me that they're learning, really. It tells me that they know that they can make fun of things to an extent. <laughs> they can be stereotypical <laughs> to an extent. Hey, are you in Mexico? Maybe you don't put the taco stand on the stage. <laughs> we're going to keep that in the back. And we're going to bring out the stupid British taxi every time we show up in England. Olay! It's like, really? Also, Come I would on. like to point out that from now on, instead of yelling at Russell fan to shut his infant mouth, I'm just going to politely tell him that I didn't tell him to speak. <laughs> yeah, that works. That is it. from the chat room. I lost everything. Zero two K says he learned that Ace is not afraid to take his jacket off and take on Punk and Del Rio. That was kind of funny. We Don't always... make me take my jacket off. Real <laughs> turn. Russell fan is hum primo. Um, I... I'm not shaving the fucking Learned jokes, Brodus, you guys. Ciro also learned that Brodus Clay is way too good to be on the UK. Um, yeah, he was supposed to debut last yeah, yeah, last night. What the hell? Guess he didn't make it. And uh, learned that China, Bobby learned that China won for biggest boner. And that Russell fan needs to make his damn bet. That's two things. Fuck you. Aw. Who else got two things? Yeah, I Come told on, him. Man. Come on. Hey, Russell fan. Hey. Yeah. I don't remember asking you this. Uh, I don't remember uh, asking you that. Sonic Screwjob also learned that Ricardo Rodriguez needs to borrow Cody Rhodes' protective <laughs> gear. Huh. Riz learned that and, the Naked Man movie uh, sucks. Riz learned that the Naked Man movie sucks. Uh, I'm just going to go out <laughs> on a limb. I'll judge that book by its cover. Yeah, yeah. It was a, I think I tweeted it on the Mayhem account. Like, I just saw, saw that added in Netflix. It was like, it's a wrestling movie about a guy that I don't, I don't even know what the rest was. But it's called The Naked Man. That was Cover, like book, judged. Yeah, yeah. So don't do it. Yeah, don't guess what? It. I'm not watching. Yeah, The Naked Man. It's a homework assignment for everybody. Go not watch The the uh, Naked Man on Netflix streaming. All right. Ask me next week. Do it. Ask me next week. What? You won't. Nope. Oh, hey, Sorg. Hey. Sorgelstein. Yeah. What did you want, learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that at a certain JTG respect... JTG still has a job? <laughs> JTG still has a job. Uh, but in certain res- aspects, uh, WWE is turning into the Urban Wrestling Federation. Uh, with uh, what, 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 What's the guy's name that used to be Sin Cara Black or whatever? Uh, uh, Henrico? Or yeah, Henri- Unico. Henrico. Mystic- Unico. Mystico. Unico. 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 And, Unico. And, you know, and, and was that right? Was that Primo and Cornrows I saw come out? No, it was uh, it was it was some other Mexican guy. Yeah, uh, maybe they'll team up with uh, JT right, that's or racist. something. Uh, hey, I'm not, we already established I can say Tito. That. It was Tito. Yeah. Oh Tito. yeah. It, was Tito it is a Cologne. brother. So uh, there you go. Tito Martinez. There you go. Um, no, Tito Cologne or Tito Colon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unicron. What? <laughs> Okay. Unicron! Uh, wow. Uh, what, you got something there, Chach? Someone posted a picture of a button on Twitter. What? It's a picture of a T-Rex. And it says, if you're happy and you know it, clap your... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, this doesn't have hands. We do this every week live at no. 8.30 p.m. Eastern live. Hold That's on, time out. I'm trying to do an outro. I know, He's I doing know. his outro. Time out. Do an outro. Russell fan, go watch Jurassic Park. Do his outro. I know what fucking dinosaurs are, dick. Well, if you knew what dinosaurs were, you would know that T-Rex does have hands. It's oh, just his you. arms are too short, jackass. I don't, I don't give a damn. Shut your, damn. your infant mouth. It's racist against dinosaurs. That's all I'm saying. If you, hey, have, Chachi. if you have anything against dinosaurs, you can contact us at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <coughs> Follow us on Twitter, 412-206-WMS09670. We're at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. That's where we do wrestling mayhem things. Like Mad Mike is really angry about TNA on Thursday nights and he writes about it. Go check that out. It's right there. It pays not to be concussed. Uh, is his last post. Hey, we're on uh, Google+. Plus. Go add yourself. Circle us. On the Google Plus. That's right. We'll and do remember, Google Plus things. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Go buy, to the Google Plus page. Buy the Yell Mayhem Show more. Gold app. Let us send you some stickers. Yell at WrestleFan on Facebook. And we'll and take see you care. guys. WrestleFan doesn't have hair in special places. Good night, everybody. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.